Black Ops 6 Zombies fixed Wonder Weapons. But Tim, Wonder Weapons have always been great. What do you mean by fixed Wonder Weapons? I'm glad you asked. The first Wonder Weapon ever was, of course, the classic, iconic ray gun in World at War, Nocturne Toten. It was the sole Wonder Weapon of that map. It had zero competition. It was far and away the best. It was an absolute delight, a treat to get out of the mystery box. Fast forward a little bit and some of the later maps introduced genuine wonder weapons. Now when I say genuine wonder weapons, that's not ray gun slander because the ray gun is a wonder weapon, but there are levels to this shit. Okay, those are several tiers above the ray gun's capability because as much as we love the ray gun, it drops off pretty quickly and pretty steeply. It's pretty much not usable past round 40, even if upgraded. Whereas some of these other fancy schmancy contraptions uh, have infinite damage. So they're gonna kill as long as your game is functioning and you have ammo. But more often than not, you'll have a main wonder weapon and the ray gun still lingering just behind. It's a fine secondary. And this is the case all the way up until Black Ops 3. Now, as much as I love BO3 zombies, it is undisputedly the GOAT as far as zombies titles, just objectively, quantity and quality combined. Not only did you have all of these super OP gobblegum, but really it all starts and ends with the AATs. What is an AAT? You're probably still wondering to this day. Alternate ammo type. It's the elemental ability you got when double papping your gun. For example, fireworks turned. Now these AATs infinitely killed. Granted, there was a recharge period, so you would have to wait five to 10 seconds in between each activation. But the bottom line is, as long as you had one of these equipped, you could kill infinitely until your game crashed. And you could throw an AAT on literally any bullet gun. It could even be a starting wall gun and you can continuously buy ammo for it, right? So in other words, not only have you replaced the entire functionality of a wonder weapon, but you've made it even better. So high rounding at this point is an absolute joke. It's not impressive getting to a high round in BO3 because of this. As long as you have the ability to train zombies, you know, run around in circles pretty much, you're good. So you gotta think, right, if all of the best wonder weapons, the Apothecan Servant, Derise and Drag Bows, that infinitely kill are now irrelevant due to AATs, where does that place the ray gun in all of this, which was already a declining asset? Then BO4 rolls around and you think, oh, they'll fix this very obvious problem that <laughs> kind of ruins high rounding, right? No, in fact, they actually arguably made it worse. They just sort of pushed the problem elsewhere on specialists, which you spawned in the game with. You spawn on round one with a specialist. So you just waltz on into the game with the best gun you could possibly get by default. You don't have to go on a quest. You don't even have to spin the box to get this thing. Boom. There it is. Game over before it even happens. Dead on arrival. The AATs and the wonder weapons in this game were actually somewhat downgraded, but it didn't even matter because specialists. And not to mention there's a zombie health cap on round 35 or so, which was never a thing up until this point. So basically high rounding is even easier than it already was. We are very far removed from the point where you pulled the ray gun out of the box and felt any shred of excitement. It was actually kind of just disappointing, if anything. It was a wasted gun slot. When you pulled it out, you just threw it right back in. There's no use for it. You can't even put an AAT on your ray gun. The steady decline of the first and most iconic wonder weapon ever was completed after just a decade of the progression of the mode. That is, until... You know, what's, this, what's the expression, like the pharaoh rises from the ashes or some bullshit? Call of Duty Cold War was on a mission to make you know, shit we used to love and care about actually relevant again. That included iconic perks like Jug and, you know, iconic wonder weapons like the Ray Gun. As soon as the game launched with D Machine, you could pull the Ray Gun out of the box. The Ray Gun is here to stay. It is not only good again, it is better than it has ever been. It is a hot knife through butter. Like it absolutely fucking destroyed any and everything in its path. And it was actually so good when the game launched that they had to patch it. And even despite that is still phenomenal to this day. So that's great. The ray gun made its return, but what about the other one weapons in Cold War? Well, it turns out they're all phenomenal as well in a vacuum, but especially due to the Cold War mechanics. First of all, when you kill boss zombies more often than not, they drop 
ammo now. There also just so happen to be a billion ammo crates around the map that you can replenish for at a relatively cheap price. So if ammo were ever an issue with a wonder weapon, it no longer is. Add on top of what is now essentially an infinite source of ammo, the ability to triple pack a punch your guns to just be exponentially better. On top of just like BO4 Cold War having a zombie health cap, granted at round 55 instead of 35, but nonetheless, their health plateaus, meaning that your wonder weapon is basically infinitely good past that point. Which is why, although not necessarily in a vacuum, the Cold War wonder weapons are the best ever, relative to their peers is within the context of its mechanics. Not to mention the sheer versatility of which you can obtain wonder weapons now. You can get them in the box, you can get them manually through a quest, or you can get them by completing trials. So the ray gun is back and better than ever. All wonder weapons are in infinitely amazing. It was actually Cold War that fixed wonder weapons, you may be asking yourself. And you're not entirely wrong, but here's why I would argue that Black Ops 6 perfected what Cold War laid out for it. Cold War was actually too easy. Wonder weapons were infinitely good. Even equipment was infinitely good. You could throw a Semtex in the ground and blow up an entire horde pretty much as long as you could possibly collect these, which constantly replenished by killing zombies. It was a vicious cycle. You still had traces of the AAT thing, plus field upgrades like Ring of Fire, which make everything a lot easier. But in Black Ops 6 Zombies, high rounding is not nearly as easy as it once was. Primarily due to the sheer quantity and beefiness of the boss zombies, which I actually just made an entire video bitching about. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I don't love it, but if there ever were a positive thing to take out of it, it is neutralizing some of the dumb easiness of Cold War and making high rounding a little more, uh, how shall I put it? Um, you actually have to fucking fight for it now. I'll be completely honest, I don't even know if there is still a zombie health cap in this game. I hope there isn't. I haven't gotten around 50 plus yet, I know. I'm, I'm just such a fucking loser. But with the sheer tankiness of some of these bosses, especially the abominations and manglers on high rounds, you need real firepower now. Not any random gun is gonna cut it. Which is why even though Cold War really fixed Wonder Weapons within that context of its mechanics, Black Ops 6 actually perfected it because now there's more of an emphasis and in an incentive to get the Wonder Weapons because you need them more than ever. D I'm sorry if that just confused the shit out of you. Caveman terms, caveman terms. You need Wonder Weapon more. Big, scary boss zombie, more of. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but these boss zombies are absolute bullet sponges, and so your run-of-the-mill bullet weapon is just gonna run out of ammo constantly, and you're gonna have to constantly replenish your ammo, which is not cheap. So you're way more inclined to go get the ray gun or go get the whatever the fuck it's called on Terminus. Or, and this was the inspiration for me making this video in the first place, the Thrustodyne. M23, in other words, the jet gun on Liberty Falls. The Wonder Weapon, which had perhaps made the biggest glow up in zombies history. It was the laughing stock, the biggest ongoing meme in the zombies community up until its revitalization in Black Ops 6. Let's rewind a little bit to BO2. The game launched with Transit, one of the worst designed maps of all time relative to its engine you know the execution was poor the idea was fine anyways this isn't a transit ramp where this jet gun has to be built with four individual parts that are as far away apart from each other as conceivably possible in the largest map ever this bus that's supposed to take you around town leaves you behind you're sprinting through fog with face fuckers clawing your eyes out you take each of the four pieces bring them all the way to town craft this thing realize that it's actually not bad it has infinite damage damage and as long as you keep a safe enough distance can kind of work but then it breaks and you can't even just go re-grab it you have to go grab each individual part again rinse and repeat that entire process which if wasn't already a giant kick in the balls is just like chopping your dick off at that point in order to not overheat it you need to let the meter cool off for a significant amount of time 
which sounds like it's the worst one weapon of all time, yet simultaneously is the best because it has infinite damage and replenishes with infinite ammo. So no one really knew what to make of this thing. Is it the best? Is it the worst? I don't know, but I don't really fucking care because I don't feel like going through the effort to grab it and I'd rather just go through the painstaking process of getting Pack-a-Punch on this map instead, which is saying a lot. Yet they have the nuts to bring this back in BO6 and the parts are much easier to grab. Not only does it function and feel better in general, but just before you're about to run out of ammo, there's a discharge feature which blasts any and everything in its path. It really takes a chunk out of even big boss zombies like Mangler. And then it recharges, but not nearly as long as it did on transit. And I'm pretty sure you don't even have to hold it out. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but regardless, it'll be back in no time and you can triple pap this thing now. So now the jet gun has finally reached its full potential of infinite ammo and infinite damage, which is especially necessary in Black Ops 6. Like I know it's not the absolute best for taking out abominations, but the point is is wonder weapons have a real purpose now and they've been fixed some of the classic chitters of the past like the ray gun or the jet gun so i think we've just kind of come full circle with wonder weapons you know we they were glorious at one point they had a major major decline in the middle and then rose back up to glory again and i think it's an inspiring story especially with the Thrustodyne Aeronautics Model 23 in particular. I've given BO6 even more time than when I made the review. The review, by the way, wow. I understand that I put mid in the thumbnail because it needs to, you know, that's just how the YouTube game works. Behind the scenes shit, just letting you know. Uh, in the actual review, if you watch the fucking video, uh, I said it was good and it was a 7 out of 10 and that it'll probably get even better and it has a higher ceiling than Cold War. All of those things are true. I feel even better today than I did when the game released. I'm having fun with it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Let me know what you would like to see next. Leave a like on this. Subscribe for more Black Ops 6 content. Love you. Have a good one.